welcome everyone to Columbus Circle, which is one of the most famous iconic circles in New York City. It's been depicted in many films, many photos, and its centerpiece is the Christopher Columbus statue. Now, I just came out doing a live video of the Columbus Day Parade and talked all about the history of Christopher Columbus and its controversy. It was a very controversial figure uh, for being rather abusive and very extreme in his measures of subjugating the people of Hispaniola. So he's become a complicated figure in history since then. But I want to briefly show you the history of the statue because the statue is the centerpiece of the circle here in New York City. This statue was built in 1892, funded by the newspaper Il Progresso, which is an Italian language newspaper here in New York City. And they, they raised over $12,000 in order to build this huge statue of Christopher Columbus, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria around it, and the angel grasping the globe. However, if you notice right now, there is a bunch of police officers here. The reception when this statue was originally built was very different. It was a massive outpouring collection of Italian-American families and people from all around the East Coast gathering here to see this beautiful statue of an Italian hero be unveiled here in the middle, in the middle of New York City. This was the moment for the Italian-American to feel like they were finally being accepted to this country. That Columbus wasn't only a hero for Americans, but was a hero for Italians. Because he himself was of ancestry of one of the Italian states that we know today. However, the reception now is very different. We are surrounded by police patrols, railings all around. The thing is, since then, Christopher Columbus might have been a way for Italian Americans to feel accepted, to be accepted in this country. But since then, Americans have becoming, become more aware of the real history of Christopher Columbus. So there has been many attempts, both politically and through illicit, illicit uh, acts of vandalism in order to take down this statue. All throughout America, a lot of the statues that used to be associated with very heinous, hateful acts are being torn down, and this might be one of them. However, since then, New York City has decided to keep it. It's an interesting, complicated figure to be displayed here in the middle of New York City. Because while Christopher Columbus, the man, was complicated and done things that through a modern lens would be, might be considered war crimes, he was also a symbol of Italian Americans being accepted into this culture and having such a major impact on American culture as we know today. So what is the future of the statue? I'll be here in the meanwhile. But I think when it comes down to it, it's better to embrace the positive aspects of it and maybe move on from the negative. But I think it's up to each individual to make their own decision. Nonetheless, it continues to be a centerpiece of one of the city's most busiest thoroughfares. Right there we see the name spelled Cristoforo Colombo, which was the original spelling of his name in Italian. He's also known as Cristobal Colón and also Christopher Columbus, different ways of saying his name. Here we see a depiction of the Nina Pinta in Santa Maria. The Nina is actually not Nina, but it's more Nina, um, which means little girl. The ships were pretty small for that era of exploration. Mostly because they had to be nimble and quick to make any changes necessary. Now, Christopher Columbus wasn't the only one who thought the world was round. Everyone else did. It was common knowledge. That's a, mostly a myth perpetuated by the likes of Washington Irving, who wrote a history of Christopher Columbus, mostly a mythological history of Christopher Columbus. 
But Christopher Columbus did believe that the world was much smaller. So believing that the world which was, was much smaller, he thought he would be able to sail from Europe to Asia in only about 3,000 miles of distance. He ended up landing into San Salvador and then Hispaniola, which weren't anywhere near Asia. It was about 7 miles, 7,000 miles away from Asia. However, it didn't mean he was a bad sailor. He might have made a vast underestimation of how big the world is, but he was very good at sailing because he was able to navigate the waterways just using only three pieces of data. The sun, the direction of the wind, and the markings of where he came from. So previous markings of sailors who sailed the same area. So he was a very good sailor. He managed to do four main voyages to the Americas. Now what happened on those voyages to the Americas, again, is very controversial. And through our modern understanding of history, might not have been the most pleasant experience, neither for his crew nor for the indigenous people of the Caribbean. So yeah, goes to show history is complicated even its heroes. So thank you so much for watching this 360 video of Columbus Circle. I hope you enjoy this. Keeping awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day everyone.